wanted to uh, explore this area but uh, when I gave it a shot which was this episode you know but uh, I was like nah uh, this guy doesn't handle it well even with all the healing potions that I give the bug so uh, I'm gonna skip it for now I will however use it to gain my horse back god damn it
You are a pussy man. Holy shit. Does it work along this time? One second. I try to uh, make it ha go away about seven times, I think, you know, when it comes to quick saving. You could, Sky you could say Skyrim doesn't look, you know, doesn't look like, uh, well, doesn't like you using the bug slash glitch in this method, but I surely do. It, 
enjoy what's awaiting you guys. Recording like a boss. Holy shit, Skyrim. Hurry up, man. Oh, man. It's alive. I know there's supposed to be a no commentary. But sometimes you get just got interrupted. Now, if this doesn't fix it, then I'm booked. <laughs> but it did. I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the towers near Mistwatch. I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guard slept, but now I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? Oh, thank you. But I should be fine now that you've shown me the way. But those bandits have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Beyond the Dragonborn. You ask me, not enough of Winterhold fell on. I'd send just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? It wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here, and nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this clothing and Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber. I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? 
All right then. My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. Me? Nothing. And I hope to keep it that way. The Jarl is convinced I have some connection with the college, so he goes easy on me. Maybe you'd like to help me keep up appearances. Old Nelikar has a mage's staff in his room in the Frozen Hearth. It'd be good to have that staff, in case the Jarl starts wondering if I actually have a real connection to the college. Thanks. I'll be waiting for it. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. All right. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. This, this is why people have a problem with your Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. <laughs> if there's anything you need, just let me know. The mages are up in the college. And ask them if they'll let you in. Then again, Nelikar might know. He's an old timer from the college, but he has a room here. I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Vinterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. He doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dried up some. That's right. College of Interval, just north of town. Hard to miss. Until next time. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. How long are we gonna My let days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close to by. As long as he keeps paying, I suppose. No. Gods, no. Not for years. Oh, I left Winterhold for some time and you. returned to stay here not at the inn. To get in their I still have research that They're keeps me that busy, me and being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian maid and the lusty baron. Just calm down. I'll tell you everything. What do you know about soul gems? That's what caused all the trouble. Soul gems are used in enchanting, but they break afterwards. Except one. Azura's star. A Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, diseased. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Azora is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student. And in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. The college would agree with you. But do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? 
We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. Take a look. Until next time. If you have business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. Unless right. you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Ranmere beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Go right ahead. He just might be sober enough to listen to you. You mean the inn or Winterhold? Suppose it's the same answer either way. Winterhold's fallen on hard times, to say the least. Most folk packed up and left years ago. A few of us are either too stubborn or too crazy to go, so we do our best to make a living. It's not much. But we get by. Very little money passes through Winterhold anymore. But if there's one thing you can count on, it's folks needing a drink now and then. See? I'm just trying to... Who are you to say what I should do? I'll pay her back when I'm ready. You're right. What would my forefathers think if they knew I wasn't paying my debts? Tell her and I'll bring her the gold I owe. Until next time. I understand Courier has been complaining just about say the word. It, thank you. He's not a I bad really man, just bad with his coins and his drink. My husband Dagger could tell you stories there. I have a couple of Ranmere's things that he traded to us back when he was still paying regularly. I say you've earned them. Yeah, mm-hmm. If there's anything you need, just... Well, not exactly. Listen, we're friends, right? I wonder if I could ask a favor of you. It's about Ranmere. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with him being here all the time. He mostly keeps to himself, and so far he's been able to pay. I just hate to see what's happened to him. He hasn't always been like this, you know. Drunk, I mean. Well, he was a different person. Happy, outgoing, like anyone who's in love. See, Ranmere was involved with a pretty young woman named Isabel Rolaine. The two of them were very happy together, I thought. One day, she just disappeared. Ranmere was convinced she'd run off with someone else, leaving him behind. He turned to drinking. And what's left of him is what you see here every day. I'm not sure. I hope that maybe if she could be found, if he had some sort of explanation, that maybe he could put himself back together. I'm in no position to go searching for her, but perhaps you could.
See ya. Unless you're bringing me in. What? Don't you. Don't you say that name to me. Don't you dare. Ever. When will enough be enough? As long as he keeps paying, I suppose. All right, then. Oh, are you sure of that? I think Birna might disagree with you. It's not my place to get involved in their family's business, remember? You're the one that told me to stay out of it. Now here's a man I'm glad to see. Oh no. Dagger's been talking at you, hasn't he? Gotten you roped into his little plan to fix Ranmere's life. I'll tell you what I told him. Stay out of it. It's none of your business. Those aren't folks you want to get tangled up with. Enough to know that it's not worth it. Renmere's a good boy, and he doesn't deserve what fate pushed his way, but there's only so far I'll go to risk my neck. One night, Ranmere was in here like always, drinking himself to death. When I told him there was no more hunting brew, that he drank all of it, he got angry. He ranted at me, how I didn't know what he's been through, how Isabel broke his heart when she ran off with some thief named Vex. He said he'd even gone to Riften to try and find the bastard. I think maybe he was hoping they'd just kill him, and that'd be the end of it. Dagger never heard any of this, and I chose to keep it to myself. I'm only telling you so you don't get into trouble. Riften and thieves means trouble. Just leave it alone. No, there isn't, and I suggest you leave it at that. I don't want to see anyone get hurt over this. All right, then. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. Yeah. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking with travelers. I don't really know any. This should come in handy. Here, let me show you a few tricks I've learned about buttering up royalty. That wizard is still at the inn. I can't believe Dagger allows him to stay there. This is what it's come to. No one seems to care what they've done to our home. It's clear that memories are far too short. And it's clear money matters more to Dagor than honor. Ours courier will be the first to tell you that if it weren't for that college... What's we'd your all business be here in Winterhold? does. The college has caused enough problems. Don't need you or anyone else adding to them. If you're not here for the college, then you've little other reason to be in Winterhold at all. What's there to tell? It's mostly gone now, thanks to those damned mages in the college. Someday there'll be proof they caused the Great Collapse. Most of the city just dropping off into the sea. That doesn't just happen. Look around you. Winterhold is in this state because of those damn mages. They sit up there in their tower, doing gods know what. And who watches over them? The guards don't even dare go up there, unless they've no choice. Winterhold has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power. I aim to change that. I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. The very same helm that Jarl Hansa wore in the First Era. Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds, and give me some authority. 
Good. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. Uh. All right, then. Ours is the only family left that truly cares what happens to Winterhold. Staying out of trouble, Kinsman. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Ah, the Immortal Plain. It is said to be the source of all magic. I don't want conjuration, god damn it. Way is dangerous and the gate will not open. Oh, most. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven. I am here. And if, if the more important question is, perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Ha, huh. humor is often in short supply here. But I sense that perhaps you're after more than just that. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is, what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything of the sort. Excellent. The fear spell has saved the life of many an illusion mage. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it.
college is an asset to Skyrim, even if it goes unnoticed or unappreciated. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power, not something to be shunned by commoners or treated as an amusing diversion by politicians. It shapes worlds, creates and destroys life. It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that, without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era, Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. The Great Collapse, as it has come to be known. An unfortunate natural disaster that ravaged the area. The college fared far better than the city of Winterhold, but it was not left untouched. No one is sure of the cause. Some believe the eruption of Red Mountain had far-reaching consequences that were only felt years later. I know there are some who have blamed the College, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. The Sea of Ghosts practically came alive. No one was expecting it. Monstrous waves battered the shore for weeks on end. Winterhold was ancient and weathered, but it couldn't withstand the sea's fury. Entire districts of the city were lost overnight. The waves receded in time, but the damage was irreversible. Most residents of Winterhold abandoned what was left of the city. The college survived, and so here we remain. Now if you'll excuse me, 